in any mathematical problem of significant difficulty, the key to that problem is usually one or two observations. We look at what is remaining. Working backward can be really, really useful strategy to solve a multitude of mathematical problems. Hello students, I hope you're doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will talk about a problem-solving strategy. We will learn it using a small but beautiful problem from number theory. This can be also regarded as mathematical game. The main objective by the end of this video should be to learn this particular strategy and you should be able to apply it in other Olympiad problems, let's say from IOQM or American Math Competition and so on. This particular strategy is known as working backward. So we will play a small game. I'll give you a challenge question. We will play a small game and we will learn how to apply this strategy. So first, let's look at this grid carefully. There are nine numbers in this grid. And you can see that there is a starting point and there is a ending point. So what you do is you have to start from the starting point, of course. You have to start from the starting point and exit from the end point. And you have to find a path so that you can go from one box to another from the start to end. But there is a condition. What is the condition? The condition is this, that the sum of the boxes that you go through should be 50. The sum should be 50. So let's say if you go like this, let's say if you go like this, 15, 6, 11, 28. This particular sum is 15 plus 6 is 21, plus 11 is 32, plus 20 is 52, and plus 8 is 60. So this particular path will not work. You have to find a path for which the sum of the numbers is 50. Also, you can't backtrack. If you once go through a particular door, that door sort of closes. So you can't backtrack. The question is, can you find a path from start to end such that the sum of the numbers in the boxes that you go through is 50? This is just a game. You can easily solve it by trial and error. It's not very difficult either. But the main objective for, for us is to learn that strategy of backward or backtracking. So how do we do this? So first we have to observe a couple of things. And in any mathematical problem of significant difficulty, the key to that problem is usually one or two observations. In this problem, you immediately realize that when whatever you do, whichever path you go through, you have to go inside the 15 box. So 15 must be there in your path. And you have to exit through the 8 box. So again, 8 must be there in your path. So 8 plus 15 is 23. So working backward, you have to have 23 in your 50, in your sum. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, as I said, we look at what is remaining. So from 50, if 23 is taken away, we are left out with 27. So I hope you're understanding what I mean by backtracking. I'm starting from 50 and sort of seeing that how much I have already done, whichever path I take. And then I'm seeing, okay, this much is left. Okay, so how do I make 27? Now, the remaining part is a bit of trial and error, but you can easily figure it out. For example, in this particular picture, you can see that if you go and do, okay, maybe I can use a different color. If you do 8 plus 12 plus 10, that's 18, plus 9, that's 27. So you need a 27, and that's how you get 27. That's your part. You start with 15, of course, that's what you have to do and you end with 8, that's 23, and from the, for the remaining path, you're just looking for 27. 
So working backward can be really, really useful strategy to solve a multitude of mathematical problems. Give it a try and I will ask you a challenge question to end this video. The question is this, are there other paths in this grid which does the same trick? Can you figure it out and tell me in the comment section? Thank you for watching the video. If you're interested in mathematics, physics, computer science or research in school level, check the link in the description. We have some outstanding programs and a mentored program toward Ivy League universities. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.